So we knew it wasn't a small plane, and we knew it was probably a terrorist attack. So we drove down, we went down the west side. You know, I mean, I could see things coming down out of the, out of the building, which I just thought it was paper and debris. And as we got closer to the building, it wasn't paper and debris. I mean, it was that too, but it was bodies. that were people jumping out of windows to get away from the fire. They were choosing at that. So that was like, you know, something that, even with 23 years, 24 years in the police department, I'd never seen anything quite as dramatic as that. It was really, I mean, it was really a great coming together of you New know, York. And, and, you know, sadly, we don't have that anymore. You know, I mean, there's, there are individual stories. There's some, there's some great people, and I love New York City, but just the politics of the city and the state and the country and the world are really divisive. You know, I, I think there's a lot of great preparation. I think there's a lot of great work the police department has done over 20 years. They created their own intelligence bureau, their own counterterrorism bureau, and they've ferreted out a lot of these plots before they get too much steam. But they're, you know, they're smaller plots. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen now with Afghanistan and Taliban control. You know, we have ISIS over there; they're at odds. But I mean, you know, Al Qaeda. I, I, I don't really know. I just, I don't feel good about it. I just don't feel good about it.